I'm at the Brea Improv right now in California. Come see the babes. Um, we got, I'm in San Francisco, uh, September 8th to the 10th at the uh, Cobbs Comedy Club. That's going to be fun, fun, fun. Then we got Madison, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Chicago, and Minneapolis, all at ChrisDComedy.com. And who knows, the UK might be on sale soon. ChrisDComedy.com. Ooh, UK, UK. I think it might be on sale right now. We're not sure yet. That's crazy talk. Okay, all my fall dates are up. We're starting again in October. There's a couple dozen dates up. I'm going to Florida. I'm going to California. I'm going to Canada. I'm going to Evansville, Indiana, Louisville, and everywhere in between. Second shows in Hershey, Pennsylvania, Atlanta, Georgia, and Toronto right now. Everything's on sale at SalVolcanoComedy.com. I genuinely don't believe you. I swear I to God. Sw- you're go there right lying. now. You're not Santa going. Rosa, I'm Liar. talking to you. San Jose, where my family's from, I'm visiting you in December. I'd like for you guys to come out. Really, I really appreciate it. You got one of your cousins lost a lot of weight out there. SalVolcanoComedy.com. My nephew. That guy's great. He did. He lost 100 pounds. But nephew, second cousin removed or nephew? No, my straight up nephew. Got it. And he does jujitsu. He's ripped. Yeah, come see me on tour. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate. Hey, so- Ian Finance here at iAnimal69 on Instagram. Check out my brand new podcast, Being Ian with Jordan, patreon.com slash being Ian pod. The episode that comes out tomorrow, I'll tell you. Me, Tommy Pope, Chris O'Connor, and that's right. Lenny Dykstra. You got to no. check it out. Nails? Nails came to my apartment in my studio and hung out for two and a half hours, and then we ate chicken sandwiches up the street. It was the craziest Just thing Just stay the on the pod. Just, Just stay do on. Two you want to do another app? Bro. Let's go back to back weeks. Bro. You want to um, do another app? It is. Huh? You want to do another app? We'll talk in about it. In a heartbeat. Come yeah, on, let's yeah, just let's keep going. We, Bro, we're still in the pod. It was, we're just going to do two hours with fine dance. It's part A, part B with fine dance because he's it. bisexual. It's like his sexuality. It, yeah, we did one episode for each of the genders. Yeah, that, that last one was a gay one. This one's a straight one. Where's <laughs> yeah. the Pop Vita Grare on. I'm trying to eat <laughs> the woman's. <laughs> so you had Lenny f- nails on. Dykstra. He, I can call him right now. We are now friends. I can you call Lenny Dykstra? Can we call him and ask if he just we're not gonna say anything who you are? Just ask him don't if he likes to show the impractical jokers. Or, or ask him if he likes to podcast Hey Babe first. That's so funny. Wait, is he like is he what's how would you describe him in three sentences? <sighs> Lucid, introspective, insane. Okay. It Those was, are well, three one word sentences. He's got a oh, I thought you meant three <laughs> words. <laughs> Lucid <laughs> Introspective was, and yes. insane yes. is the three words. Yes. Wow, that's interesting, bro. It was in. It was crazy because he has this reputation of being this f- lunatic animal. Like he showed up to my house, literally, and he goes, has a, a weird reputation recently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's an inmate. He's a criminal. Oh, no. he is. He's a criminal. Yeah. That's him right now. <laughs> Lenny, come on in. Then I tell you, when, those coffee, when that food comes, you just throw it at us. That's what we're doing on the pod. Bring in Lenny Dykstra. Ian, this is your life. Yeah. <laughs> it, he shows up to my house and he goes, hey, did you bring the because I brought my teeth. What? he has fake teeth. What? The day before, he calls. We're on the phone. He goes, so, so the podcast, is there, um, can we say and cussing and I'm like yes Lenny there's pussy and cussing you can wait 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 he specifically said can I can we say and and cussing cussing. yeah yeah yeah. I say cursing do you ever say cussing I say cussing you say cussing I say cussing cursing or cussing curse words curse words dude he he was so great so nice where'd you make the connect how did did he end up on your body connect right it's gotta be no well I the the uh booker for Kumia tried to connect (laughs) me and him (laughs) Ye- Let's like get Kumia. Everything's ago. coming up Kumia today. Yeah. <laughs> and and I tried to get him on Are You Garbage and they like scoffed. They were like, this guy's a lunatic. He's like being all over the place. No. And I like spoke Dykstra, I guess, because I was like, yeah, sure. Lenny, Lenny Dykstra on Are You Garbage would have been a home run. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but on being Ian, it was a grand slam. Yeah. Damn it. I but, dude, it. he was talking about when he fought Rick Dempsey at home plate. He was talking about how he got on steroids. He was talking about, like, coming up in the majors, being with the 86 Mets. He told some insane story about how, oh, he gave us the formula on how you stay up doing coke all night and still play a 
day game and go five for five. Like he, What's dude, the formula? It was the most Please. surreal thing I've ever seen in my life. Because you're at this, your pod shout will be out, out for, by the time. Shout, shout out yeah. formulas, actually. Shout out formula, formula Without formulas, one, yeah. Um, Amazing. Um, for, baby, baby formula. formula. Baby formula. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pythagorean theorem is a formula. Yeah. That's a formula. A squared yeah. plus B squared equals two squared. C squared. No, I think it's a little more than that. No. Okay, well, that is what it is. Well, Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah. That's it? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Maybe I'm thinking of something the, else. The Greek is saying yes. Oh, I'm back. thinking of something else. Oh, what did we get? It's a big equation. Whoa. Whoa. What'd oh, my God. What is, what is Wow. Is that pecan pie? Yeah, you got a pie? pecan pie. Oh! Wow. wow. This is so nice. I'm good, baby. I'm good. You're not going to have anything salad, babe? Come on. I have the thing. Let's, okay, thank you, Let's brother. lady in the trampet, Sal. All come right. on. All right, fine. This is the straight episode. Yeah. What is this one? Ooh, a lemon tart. Switchy. Because she said, I know you're a tart. Oh, look at that. I love a dessert that has to scotch tape the lid on. Yeah. That's a fun place. Also, I don't know if I'm supposed to just chomp it down or do Why I not? use a fork and knife? No. Well, it's, it's, it's in a tart, right? Yeah. So it looks like you can handle it with your hands. Mm. Let me tell you something. You can do whatever you want. You're sitting on the couch that Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian used to have sex on. So uh -huh. you can swear to God. Uh, I defer. I don't. I don't know. We don't know. Oh, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I, I don't know how you want to eat that, but you could take it up with Bloom Cafe. Oh my yes. God! Jesus Christ! <laughs> nice placement. You are getting all the bits. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God! When I can't get, I'll, I, I'll. It will take me the entire episode to get this open. Let me know. <laughs> Dude, I, I'll just tell you. Open it eight, a millisecond later. <laughs> that was the easiest thing in the world. Dude, wait, wait, uh, where, 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 where were we? Specifically. <laughs> um, no, so, so, it was, so, so, is he? Did he mismanage his money, or is he still well, well off? I, I don't know anything about that. All I know is that he was like the financial guy. Jim Cramer was like, he's the man, la la. And then shit went under when the financial crisis happened. I don't know if it was his fault or fucking whatever, but. Wait, how, wait, wait, Jim Cramer, how did he get involved? What did you say about Jim Cramer? Dude, on Mad Money, he like vouched for Lenny. He was like, this guy's the future. I don't know how that happened. Oh, like back in the day of ball playing? No, no, no. This was, Lenny quit. Lenny Dyche was known washes. as a money guy? Yes. Oh, that I didn't know. Bro, he was like, Top tier money investor. Oh, I asked that just in general. And then, bro, I had no he idea. lost it all, went to jail. He owned Wayne Gretzky's house, bought it from him. They foreclosed on it, and he took a shit on the living room floor carpet before he moved out. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. You're going to have to back that up. Yeah. Say that again. He bought Wayne Gretzky's house. Okay. It got foreclosed on, and before he left, he shit on the floor. It's like a few to them. Not and on the podcast, he goes, I'm a nice guy. I don't start fights, but I'll fucking end them. And we're like, wow. oh, my God. He would, Took like, tell shit. these stories and then give an aside. Like, he, he was talking about, like, he, uh, he like, somebody at, because he was, like, a little guy when he joined the Mets. Uh, he had to, like, prove himself. And some guy was like, hey, is that the Bat Boy? He goes, Bat Boy, I'm the best fucking one here. I'm Lenny Dykstra and Jim McElvey. You know Jim McElvey? He's a nudist now. And we're like... What? <laughs> yeah, no, dude, no, he's insane. Just, just throws it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally throws shit out there. Yeah, and you're like, wait, what? Dude, he told a story about how we're, we're talking about, like, you never know uh, when you're going to die. He goes, yeah, you might die at second base. And you're like, what? And he goes, I was all, uh, oh, and he called cocaine Keith Richards. He called it Keith Richards. He told a story about doing coke with Robert De Niro playing Keith Richards' greatest hits. It was the most surreal thing I've ever been a part of. Lenny, D I used to carry his baseball card in my wallet. Yeah, right, right. I get it. I, I get he it. He was my hero, yeah, dude. He, I get my it. dad's truck, the number was, the license plate said four because four was his number, his number. my number, literally. He my also dad's stole number. bases, right? He was fast, right? Yeah. Correct dude, me if I'm wrong. Was, well, he was all right. He was out. an all star, Lenny Dykstra. He was an all star, dude. He is. But on the, the Mets, he stole bases, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. dude. He on, won the World Series with the '86 Mets. Yes. Yeah. In the '93 World Series, Oof. he like went five for. I go, didn't you go five for five with like? Don't you have a postseason record? He goes, Yeah, I'm third behind two other guys, Lou F Garrick and Joe DiMaggio. And I think I'm like, say oh Jeter. My God, Get Jesus. the hell. Are yeah, you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Len yeah. and he was jacked, dude. Bro, is yes. he still? But he was on juice. He was juice. The up. 
Look at him. Look he at told nails. people he just took good vitamins. <laughs> I mean, in a way, it's not. I'm now, is he? Is he? Is he? Is he Still in shape? Well, no. Yeah, now he's like now, now he's he's on a, he's on orange juice now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how many years did he do in prison, Dykstra? I I don't know. But dude, in like ninety one or ninety two, he hit four hundred. Like he he hit four hundred four hundred season for for an, an entire month straight. Okay, four hundred. Okay, Yo, different. he talked about how he spent five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> hiring private investigators to get dirt on umpires so that they would shrink the strike zone so he could get more walks. You're kidding me. He told that Holy story. Holy shit. On, That's like some gangster shit. Bro, it's in... I'm telling you, you gotta watch a podcast and I'm not just like, plug my podcast. It's like truly, it's the most surreal thing I've and ever been what's the been podcast part. called again? b and in with Jordan. Patreon.com slash b and in pod. Okay. We'll all go watch it. b and in It's truly insane. I, I gotta watch this. He was arrested again in 2018 for threatening the life of an Uber driver yeah. and possession of cocaine <laughs> and ecstasy. Yeah. He does. He's done that, but he's been off opiates since like ninety eight. And he told how he went to Israel and did this insane. Is he Jewish? He like loves Jews because an Israeli guy saved his life getting him off opiates. He did this rapid detox thing that was experimental at the time. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he should like all Jewish people. Well, <laughs> I mean, who does? I, I mean, just like when there's one bad person, you don't blame yeah, everybody. Don't blame everybody, yeah. yeah. And vice versa. I mean, yeah. dude, he's vice going versa. to Let's do the podcast Jewish people again. we don't like. Shout out Jewish people. Love Jewish yeah. people. My favorite Jew besides Jesus, I would say, number one Jewish person be after Jesus, Paul Rudd. Wow. That's my top Jew. <sighs> That's a pull. Paul Rudd is, is I'm in love with him. So. Uh, I would as say a matter of fact, Paul, we send in Paul Rudd as Ant-Man to save Grinier. He could do it. He what about where he's going right into that, right into the cartridge? That's is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I told you I just had dinner with him. No, oh, you yeah. did say this. Really? Yeah. Dinner with Paul. Maybe yeah. that's what I was thinking of him. He's the he, best. Yeah, he's the best. He makes me feel like a, a natural woman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be, I be Paul Rudd is so cute to me that if I was having dinner with him, it'd be tempting to just take a bite out of him. Yeah, I'd want to cut a piece of his body. I'd off be like, I'm all it. good with the menu, and then I just like. When I found out he was in Ghostbusters Afterlife, yeah. I was so giddy with joy. I feel like he's the next Tom Hanks or something. Yes, Paul Rudd is he's, the next. Yes. Tom Hanks. he's beloved. He yes, is. there's yeah. not one person and he that doesn't, doesn't love age. the guy. He doesn't age. He's at least fifty. And everything we hear about him is he just like the kindest guy. Kindest. Kindest. His parents are British. Well, that's bad fifty-three. News for you. Look how good he looks. He does look great for 53. And his if he's because he's a small guy, his mother must be tiny. He towers over his mom. So he that's your favorite Clueless. Jewish person. Besides Jesus. Okay. Wow. I, didn't, wow. I don't have a favorite Rudd Jewish person. Learned his parents are second ready. cousins. I, th I think mine is default look Larry David. What? Rudd recently learned his parents are second cousins. That's like technically illegal. Second cousins? Yeah, second cousins. Cousin. Maybe that's the key to beauty. That's the key then, because he's good looking. Yeah, because first cousin's not good. Dude, I got to fuck my cousin. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Okay, it's, you, you're attracted to your cousin? Uh-huh. Okay, what's the relation? Second or third. Well, the big difference. I got, when I was drinking... Her name and another girl's name were mixed up, and I was drunk, and I sent some very dirty texts to I, who I thought was some girl I just met, but it was to my cousin, and it was awkward because of what I said, and also the fact that I would have done it to her, too. <laughs> <laughs> what did she write you, back you to know you? This, this is released. <laughs> what? This, this is <laughs> I didn't say the name? Come on. Yeah, well, what's, was her, her, what's, her, what's her response to you at Christmas? No, her response was like, I think you have the wrong number. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll see you at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never really spoke uh, again. Did you ever bring it up again? Never really spoke again. What's a third cousin? What's a second cousin? Okay, so I think what a second cousin is yeah. is if you're my co cousin's kid. Yes. Yeah. Then what's the third cousin? It can't be your cousin's kids' kids. That's what the, it is. The kids. So when I'm ninety, I have a third cousin in my cousin's kids' kids. So let's say Ian and I are cousins. Yeah. Yes. And first, our kid is your mom my first and dad cousins. or your parents or sisters. Ian is Ian is your father. You're my second cousin. Wait. What? Ian's my father. Oh, if your Hello, brothers. Son. No, we're cousins. Okay. We're cousins. We're cousins. Yeah. Ian. First cousins. Th you, this is your son. Your first uh, cousin. He's my first cousin. You're, that's your son. Th we're second cousins. Okay, but my. But now you have a daughter who's Venetia. Venetia is my third that cousin. That can't be third cousin, though. No. 
Uh, okay, here we go. This uh, chart never chart. it never helps. This it chart doesn't make sense. Okay, let's read this. Let's go to you. Let's let's make here's you. Yes. Okay. We have kids. Okay. So your parents I don't understand what this is. I don't understand it. You have children, you have grandchildren. Your parents, your sibling is your niece and your Oh, your your Oh, oh really? Oh, that's so my so nephew's kids are my grand nephews. Right? What? My sister's son's kids are my grand nephews. I That's crazy. I didn't happened. know that. <laughs> I so, have no clue what's going on. Grandparents. Sweating trying to figure this out. <laughs> so I, I can literally read this. think Brittany Grinier is having an easier time in Russian prison right now <laughs> than we are trying to figure out this hold, chart. Hold, boo. Hold. We were wrong. I can read it right here. We were wrong. A first cousin. Wrong. He, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> what if they say, Brittany, you are out of this jail. You just have to explain the cousin <laughs> charge by memory. <laughs> And she's like, I can do it if you give me some weed. <laughs> so, so, so what happens is this. If I'm his boy, if I'm his, <laughs> if his young good boy, you're my first cousin once removed. And my kid is your first cousin twice removed. See that? But why are they removed? They're there. It's once removed from you. So you're his first cousin. I'm in your lineage. Okay, I get the so removal. So I'm his cousin once removed. First, once removed from the source. But why are you you're removed? The source. Yeah, but wh but where are we getting to? The, but forget about the removed. How, what am I? Just your second or third cousin proper? I'll tell yeah. you right now. I'm reading this. It's your grandparents' siblings. Yes. Your grandparents' siblings are your second cousin. Correct. Correct. What if I have no grandparents? No, 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 siblings, my aunts and uncles. Yeah, this isn't right. Wait, hold on. That means that you, it says, okay, you, so your grandparents, brother or sister is your grand uncle or aunt. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because your parents, your parents' sibling is your aunt or uncle. So your grandparents' signals are your grand aunt or grand uncle. Yeah. Okay. So their kid is your parents' First cousin once removed. But your second cousin. Oh, no, no, no. Their kids are our first cousin once removed. Which and one of these people can I legally have sex with? All of them. <laughs> well, if you're going, talk, going by him, he's talking about the last column. Okay. <sighs> this no. is wild, bro. Do you get it or no? The you... I don't understand. I'm looking at you and trying to figure it out from there, but I, that makes it even worse for me. My, your How do I get to my okay, second cousin? Okay. This is like Abbott and Costello for <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> you, wait, did, you, did your grandparent, any grandparent do you know has a brother or sister? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Aunt, I so, called my grandmom's sister Aunt Tookie. Yeah, that's wrong. She's your first cousin once removed. Look at that. You've been lied to. Oh, no, 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 no. Your grandma's sister is your grand aunt. You're right. So your granddad, but, you, but Aunt, so Aunt Tookie's kid is your still your first cousin once removed. Your your grand yes cousin. Yep. Okay. okay All so right. Here it is. Ready. Your 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 Aunt Tookie, your grandmother's sister, her grandchild is your second cousin. That's what that says. Then how would we get to his third? cousin? So then that was the second cousin. I wanted to stop. So you wanted to you wanted to have sex with your Aunt grand, kid, your grandmother's no. sister's granddaughter. That's it. That's it. Look at the chart. Your yep. grandmother's <laughs> sister's yep. granddaughter. Two down. Generation Not five. Not my second cousin. My second cousin once. No. No. It's it's the orange box right there. Generation it five. What cousin? would really throw this in a wrench if you figured this all out? But then I threw in a fucking thing and I said, what if one of these first cousins, second cousins goes trans? Then, then you definitely got to fuck them. you're screwed. <laughs> Why? Because that's your life's well, mission? Because then it's nephews, nieces. Look at this. Oh, this yeah. is, I bet you, you can't trans have Trans people are nephew once removed. <laughs> <laughs> well, biological. Are we talking biological nephew or biological niece? <laughs> Look, if you go down seven generations, your great grandparents, his brothers, and sisters, you're, you can get to a third cousin twice removed. That person, you got to be able to fuck. You should be able I to fuck. I kind of think like they're half. <laughs> Like, so we might be... I don't even know who that person is. Nobody keeps tabs on their family like that. My great-grandparents' siblings, great-great-grandchildren? 
No idea. You're going to fuck that. You don't know who that person is. You, pr- you probably already did. What? Oh, my God. Life hack. If you're adopted, you can fuck them all. That's true. That's absolutely <laughs> That's true. true. You That's can fuck th- your dad. That's literally yeah. a life hack. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, if you're adopted, you can literally have sex with anybody. There is 1,000% an adopted child out there that, is, that has had open, loving, willing sex with their parents. Yeah, it's called Woody Allen. Yeah, it's called Woody, it's called Woody and Allen. And Sun Yi. Yeah. Sun Yi. Yeah, that was a whole oh, thing. Oh, he adopted that girl. That was yeah. a big to-do. Yeah, big to-do. Yeah, yeah oh, that's that was, right. that was like a 50, for a while. It was a five-decade to-do, that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Table. Did you guys see uh, Gordon Ramsay was getting canceled for this video? What happened? Oh, you can't come. cancel Gordon Ramsay. He has you 15 cannot... shows on the air. Is he going to just slaughter a lamb? Does he make the lamb do blackface? <laughs> <laughs> mm. What is he doing? Tell me he's just going to jump in there and snap that lamb's neck. I swear to Christ. Which one's going in the oven first? You. Oven time. It is a little sadistic, no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he yelled oven time. Yeah. At the end. And then it, he wouldn't have got killed, but at, at the end when he went oven time, he did throw up a hail. Well, Hitler, he did go. Which was the issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, was yeah. the issue. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. at the end. <laughs> and then you can't do that. The, the, even if it's a lamb. The issue is way more the swastika on his hand tattoo. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the yeah. problem. Wasn't yeah. Everything was fine until Why that. Why was he goose stepping in the cage? <laughs> <laughs> Also, yeah. I mean, read the room. Those things are adorable, adorable. and, cute. and, and cute. And you're you're like putting your hands together like you're the Wicked Witch of the East and tell them which one you're going to throw. It's just Hansel and Gretel. Thought this was a good idea. To post. If uh, anything, he should be in there what apologizing. The uh, I mean, this is just brutal. Yeah, yeah, but give me a break that he's going to get canceled for that. the That's vegan teacher ridiculous. say this. He found the lamb. Where's the lamb sauce? What? Yeah, I don't think he's really getting canceled. I mean... Well, I mean, they're going after Beyonce this week. Bad. What are they for going what? after Beyonce because for? Because she's she's oh, slaughtering she lambs. She said spaz. She said <laughs> anyone, yeah. anyone slaughtering lambs these days. Anyone can't leading do it. a lamb can't to do slaughter. It. Interesting. No, well, how are they going after Beyonce? I love how one guy goes, Gordon Ramsay, keeping it real as usual. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> he's, he's my favorite chef. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> the, he's the chef that keeps it the most real for me. Well, Beyonce used the word spaz, and you're not allowed to say spaz anymore. You're allowed to say whatever you want. This is America. Yeah. So spaz is bad? Yeah. Isn't it spasm, spastic, or whatever? Isn't that apparently you can't say because of cerebral palsy. What? Oh, really? That's what they yeah, said. Let's go to cerebral palsy correspondent Josh Blue. Josh? <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Wait, wait, wait. If you're, if you're saying spaz because in the 1980s it was literally on T-shirts. Yeah. Right? And you don't know that you're not supposed to say it. How can you get in trouble? It just, just we need to, we, we need to learn. Here's the problem. We need to educate. And so, so now I just found out that Look that's... Look at Beyonce's hat. That, yeah. <laughs> what what Beyonce, it, looks like, it looks like a black lace chip. <laughs> Look at her <laughs> fucking hat. Yeah. That is, is, that, is a, that is a black Pringle on her head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? That is high, it's high couture, I Here's suppose. Here's the thing. They should not bow down to these motherfuckers that go take out the lyric from your song. She should go... No. <laughs> then just fucking move and on. Just don't do it. Uh, has anybody else heard rap music for the last 40 years? Yeah. yeah. She's saying drill spaz rap? In a song. We're worried about the word spaz when guys are literally bragging about murdering people <laughs> yeah. in yeah, drill Eminem rap. He's going to put his fiance in a trunk of a car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great song. Yeah. Great yeah. song. Bleed, bitch, bleed. Kim. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey, I am bro <laughs> That's insane. insane. That's stupid. And is Beyonce going to do it? She Dude, already removed the word. Lizzo did the same thing. What did Lizzo do now? She broke a uh, stage because she's fat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Lizip. Lizip it. Lizip it up. Wait, why? Changes lyric slur. because of the What's word. It, what is an ableist slur? That's Dude, Lizzo's Beyonce. got ableist lyrics. Hold my bag. Do you see this shit? I'm a spaz. Well, that's a bad oh, lyric. Oh, so she but. also said spaz and Beyonce did yeah. in the yeah. same week? No, this this a couple months, I think. Yeah. Dude, well, this is how from, is yeah. that a slur? If that is a slur, you should be you should be putting Gordon Ramsay's on the oven. 
<laughs> yeah. You should be lambed what up. What did this woman, hey, Lizzo, please remove the word spaz from your new song. I genuinely <laughs> believe, and I've said this on stage, that I don't think these are real people. I think they're Russian bots yes. that do this yes. to cause division, to yes. cause distraction. Yep. Yep. So instead, we're talking about spaz on Hey but we're not talking yep. about the right. real truth. That, that yeah. article will, will literally pull something with no retweets and no likes and put it as a source. Yes. Dude. They did that in Ohio, a Russian troll farm. We know for a fact there were Russian troll farms. We know Russian that troll face- farm. What? Just a funny word. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, got, I work at the Russian troll farm. <laughs> toiling, toiling away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in charge of the irrigation system at the it's Russian just, troll it's farm. just mini Putins with fucking warts on their did, nose. Did you guys see the spies they caught in Hawaii? That Hawaiian no, spies is interesting. This is pretty crazy. Hold on, let me... so, I cannot believe those two Are they British? Spies. Here's the thing. We know about Cambridge Analytica, how it was that massive breach of data. Right. So they get all people's faces information. They use that to the Russian troll farms, put that as Twitter profiles to make it look like it's a legitimate person. Yes. Come up with a bunch of bullshit word salad. We think it's real. And then it's a LARP that turns into reality. Right. That happened in Ohio. They had a fucking Muslim Day parade in a fake Facebook group that they made up, and then they made an anti-Muslim Facebook group, legitimately had real humans show up because of this fake Facebook group. It's all fucking it's, fake. It's That's insane. what I think Nope is about. How it, you I know? I think it is. Yes, I, I, read, I think it's I, about. I didn't see it, but I read it. Staying away from technology, not looking, don't en don't engage with social media because right. when the alien comes, uh, the I didn't thing see it. I didn't see it. God. So we can't say it. I had an idea that something like that was going to happen. Listen, let's I'm tell, me in the tell, tell me in the water. In the ocean yeah, water. Tell them in the ocean. <laughs> Wait. Hop into the ocean. I'm sharing some secrets. But look, they stole people's identities and they were spies. Yeah. That's what's happening. What country None are they spies real. from, Pimp? Uh, I believe what's Russia. You want to watch? It's pretty interesting. Can we? Will we get flagged? No, you'd be good. It's a new story. Are you positive, though? Are you positive? We've watched Because I don't want to lose them. Just I don't to learn about lose. these people, I don't want to lose them all. Yeah. New, new stories on These there. people look right, like let's the, watch the let's... painting of those two farmers. Bros. Oh, yeah, yeah you're gothic, right. The, the, yeah, American, American Gothic. gothic. Yeah. The guy on the left looks like a spaz. Oh, she looks... Hey. They both look creepy, though. They both look creepy. They do look creepy. They both look like they have sticky genitalia. Do you think... Oh, yeah, and coffee breath. Do you... Think, do you think I in your banger. life, do you think a spy has walked right by you? Yes, right? Got to be that. I would say yes. Yeah. A spy of some type. I mean, it might be a shitty spy, but I do think a spy has walked So you've been me. around a spy, you think? You think you've ever spoken to a spy? We had a CIA spy come and speak at my high school. Well, I mean. High school, but he was out there. I mean like an undercover, like a spy just you crossed in real life and you even if you exchange pleasantries like oh I, I'll get that thank you <clears throat> like you speaking to my cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so no how common do you think a spy is do you think how I think many it's, out of every how many people is a spy one out of every what one out of a million a million one out of a million so you'd say there's 500 spies in the United States yep Okay. I don't think there's any more than 500 spies. There is no, I think there are no physical spies, but they're spying online. Yeah. And everything is stolen and regurgitated. And what? I wasn't far wow. off. Wow, spies are living among us. Spies, if you're watching, and we know that you we know are. That you are. We're about to out you right now. Yep. Spies are living among us in the United States alone. One expert estimates that there are about 100,000 foreign agents. What are they saying back Working for like at least 60 to 80 nations spying on America. You said 500. He said a million. I was off. What What are they you reporting one back? One are, they like, yeah. which is are they like, hello, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. hello, they are getting fatter. <laughs> like, what do they have to say? <laughs> well, they think, <laughs> Google, Google famous people who are thought to be spies. There's some names on this list that's going to blow your mind. There's a lot of people through, uh, uh, throughout life that they think were spies. Joe DeRosa. Okay, that means one. That those numbers, Chris, are one in every five thousand. What? Is a spy. One in every five thousand people is a spy. Which means if you go to a sell, sold out Yankee game, there's ten, 10 spies there. 100%. No, yeah, you have to. Well, be. they got to be entertained. Right. So, <laughs> just because you're a spy doesn't mean you're not gonna too. like baseball. Get people too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Spies are people too. Um. Roll doll was that? Frank no, this Sinatra. Is fake. This is crazy. This is I, uh, this is crazy. Pimp. No, there was somebody who I was Julia like. Child. Julia Child. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's getting. Who was the most famous spy? Austin uh, Powers. Nobody I heard of. I don't know any of them. Yeah. I guess that makes him a good spy. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, all mm. right, go back to this. Let's, right. let's listen to the Hawaiian spies. Bobby Edward Fort and Gwyn Dahl Morrison, <laughs> a.k.a. Julie Lynn Montag, are accused of being Russian spies. They're charged with identity theft, lying on their passport applications, and conspiracy to commit crimes against the U.S. I think at this point what you're looking at in the charging documents is preliminary charges to get these people off the streets and begin negotiating with them and seeing what they know and what is their willingness to cooperate with the U.S. government. If they are not willing to play ball, stay tuned for some very serious charges coming their way. Pictures of the two apparently in KGB uniforms. Oh, shut How would you know, dude? You're doing a broadcast from your fucking living room. Yeah, I mean, what? and also get in a a studio, maybe a Tom little less Simon. rouge. Yeah. Tom Simon's giving me updates on the spies. You're literally doing the fucking broadcast from your basement, you piece of shit. What could these fucking losers that look like they worked a pharmacy they, they, at a fucking Walgreens? I, they, I was going to say, they definitely, pit. they wear Skechers. Yeah. 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 I love that, like, this guy, the guy in Hawaii was a spy, and they're like, how'd you find out? He had a picture of himself dressed up as a, <laughs> on, in his living room. He's like, this is me? I mean, this, yeah. and you're like, oh, you want to play the- He's wearing a t-shirt yeah. that says number one yeah. spy. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like, this was me. Back in the day, he goes, oh, wait, sorry. Aloha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally dressed like a like a cartoon character. Me? Russian <laughs> soldier. And it's got a picture of him in his fucking living room. It's, it literally is what the like what soldiers look like in a Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, the balls on that spy to get detained and smile like that in, know. His, in his photo. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I know Look I'm getting her traded for her eyes. Like Look at the, the picture of the woman. Smiling. Yeah, she, she was like, oh shit. <laughs> someone she just took a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> someone just, oh my God, someone just took a picture of me as a spy. <laughs> shit. Look at these people. If I don't blink, they can't tell I'm not spy. They literally couldn't look more like Russian fucking spy. They're dressed in full Russian Agents like 1990 USSR <laughs> uniforms. It's insane. In this picture, she's well, literally a eating a boot. <laughs> she's smiling <laughs> too. Look at how creepy is that? They don't give a fuck. In the 1980s, they then Oh my god. They were what? their names were that of for children who died, and died in other Texas. Documents wow. in those names and lived the lies for decades. Well, I mean, what? Well, yeah, they're Primrose fraudulently enlisted in the Coast Guard in 1994. In Austin for a while. Stay oh. weird. Stay weird. Yeah, they got caught because one of their names, the, the one, his name was Antonio Benitez, and this is Maria Huertez. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, they do something doesn't add up. Uh, coastline protection. Hola. And they work hand in hand. Uh, this guy has forces. got a this weird got face. Half a face. Did he get hit in the face with a what shovel? What is wrong with this guy's face? <laughs> he served 22 the years they took him retiring. Enough oh, his name's Bobby information Edward. disclosed publicly can enable the enemy to put pieces together, and that can tell us a lot of. <laughs> that guy goes, enemy, I spy with my it. little <laughs> eye. Staggering to me the amount of time and effort that put into this particular project. This is not something which was a quick hit to steal some records. Doesn't look like he got kicked on the left side of his face. Yeah, just is working. This guy, where is he in his basement? No, seriously, I'm like, I can't live from the bunker. But let me ask you a question. You're a spy. You're that old. These people are probably what sixties. Yeah. When are you like? I, I gotta just stop spying. I yeah, want to just. Get, I just want to get. When you're like, what else do you want to know about this fucking yeah. country? Also, they're like Russia. You want me to spy? You literally put me five thousand miles off mainland United States. Yeah, I'm I 60. can tell you all about Honolulu. I can't keep up with the tech. Yeah, I just want to take some Miralax and watch Wheel of Fortune. I'm yeah. sixty five. Yeah. I have no more information. What do you want to know? Yeah, you literally could know more if you watched Hawaii 5.0. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, we should say that they're spies. Allegedly. Allegedly. Now, they were both in the Coast Guard for 20 years and retired with benefits. They were the in US the Coast, Coast Guard? Guard? They, were, they had security clearances. Did they get flipped oh. in prison? Well, I don't know, maybe. They were in our military? Yeah, with fake social, like fake... Imagine the people that worked alongside them for 20 years that they, they knew their family. They, they like a friend of 20 years. They had to make friends. Yeah, 100%. Could you think, like in the movies, do you think the whole time? Did, so, do they have any real friends? Or the, by, the, by nature, this is their real friend. I live next door to them. Oh, really? I'm I saying, thought it was weird. We watched the movie Miracle and they were rooting for Russia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, (laughs) 
And yeah. Until they put a periscope on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was weird. You know, we were sitting day, the first day of the war, and we heard cheers from the house when they started bombing <laughs> Kiev. All we, we heard was, was the Beatles back in the USSR <laughs> over and over and over. Oh, man. But so do you think by nature of having to be that, an identity, to live an identity that's not your own, how much of your own human bi- biology comes through and you you do make friends with the person you worked in the Coast Guard with for 20 years in his family and you have real human connections the whole time knowing that everything he knows about you is completely false. Like, they have to still make friends, right? Yeah, like, you can't th- just be a spy for 20 years and not have real human connection. I would feel, if I was, like, friends with them in the Coast Guard, like I was a United States military officer... And I was friends with the Russian spies for 20 years. I would feel so stupid. Yeah. I'd be like, I literally work for the country and I couldn't pick up that the enemy is my friend. Right. Mm-hmm. But that's probably makes it harder, I guess. Well, like once you, you know, have you, have you, I think I sent this to you a while ago. There was an ex KGB operative who in 1986 was interviewed and he, it's a segment called How to Brainwash a Nation. Oh my God, I saw that. Five you and I steps. spoke about this. Yes. The five uh, steps <laughs> on we saw, we saw espionage like 20, like and how, years ago. how to demoralize a nation, yeah. how to infiltrate a nation. And he said none of it is like this sexy espionage spy physical. It's more like you infiltrate universities with communist ideas, pump it into the soft heads of the young kids. And then you no longer have to worry about the government spying you have citizens spying on each other, which is what's happening right now. Well, yeah, yeah. we're imploding from within. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it, yeah. That's it was, why it was, I genuinely it was believe like time I released, right? Didn't they say like, you know, they start this now, but it's going to pay off in like 20, yeah, yeah. 30 years. Yeah, which is about now because yeah, yeah. I genuinely believe this stuff on the internet, it isn't, it's not real. No. This, this, these, these things no. aren't real. The, the hate isn't real. None of it's real. No. It's all bots. Well, it is hate because hate begets hate. It's 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 stirring up right. all the hate. It, it, it really has a thing it on our- It activates it. It yeah. activates but our the, limbic the system. Cat- yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the initial start, like the the atom of it isn't real, and then it, it activates. You'll we'll see it on a very, very small scale w- with us. You know, and I don't mean us, at, like, I mean, like, you know, even if we get something that goes viral, it's still, like, not, you know, high, high up. You'll see- the same comments from different accounts, yeah. five, ten times. So yeah. it's, bots. it's bots, but it looks so real. If you yeah. just saw one, you'd be like, "That's a real person," and I hate that person. Yeah, right. right and right. I would tell my manager, "Watch out for that person. Don't let him in the show." Right. When really they're in a Russian troll farm with Ian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can I can I say just to tap back before about you just start plugging your dates uh, about canceling sp- <laughs> <laughs> about sp- the word? Like, Let's do it, Lenny. Just a second, show it Hershey PA. Yeah. Cha-ching! Oh, Shopify. That's the sound we love. That's the sound that makes us smile. It's the sound of another sale yes. on Shopify. It's the, the sound of Shopify. Yes. Whoop, whoop. It's no. the sound of Shopify. Cha-ching, cha-ching. It's the sound of Shopify. <laughs> the all-in-one <laughs> commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. I love it. And if you're sc- scaling your business is a journey of endless possibility, which you know it is, then Shopify is for you. Believe me, mother... They give entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses. So upstarts, startups, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize everything online, all their in-person sales, and stay effortlessly informed. 1,000% Shopify, literally. It's a lifesaver. If you start in a small business, you need to use Shopify. It's more than a store. Shopify grows with you. Shopify's a grower, not a shower. That's right. (laughs) 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 Look, and also you can reach customers online across all the social networks uh, with their ever-growing suite of channel integrations and apps that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and all the other ones. Anyway, they'll go anything. They'll go Periscope. They don't care. Shopify's wild mm. like that. Right now, if you go to shopify.com slash heybabe, all lowercase, for a free 14-day trial, you will get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash heybabe. All lowercase. Right now. All our case right now, free 14-day trial, shopify.com slash hey babe, all lowercase. Cha-ching! <sighs> boo boo. Who is it? DoorDash? Yes! I was starving. There it is, folks. DoorDash. Zero delivery fees. Used it last night. Rent. Swear to God. Swear Did you? to I use DoorDash three times a week, men. Really? I swear to G. I literally DoorDash. First of all, DoorDash, DD. This is my new double Ds. Yes. 
I love DoorDash. You just get the food from them and be like, I got the food blah, 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 blah. ordering your summer essentials with Dash Pass by DoorDash is a great way to get everything you need. You know what DoorDash is. If you don't, you've been living under an R. Yeah. That's what it is. Jeez. It's <laughs> yeah. a food delivery service, but it's not just food delivery it's service. Not. They can pick up from chain restaurants, mom and pops, but you could also do other things like get your groceries. What do you want? And shampoo? Like- you wash your hair. Well, look at my meals by Couge. Anything take you care, want. brush your hair. If you want to take care and brush your hair, use DoorDash to get the shampoo poo. If you want to order from DoorDash but wish you didn't have to pay the delivery fees, dreams do come true because during summer of Dash Pass, you can save money and enjoy new members only offers every week on top of Z. Zero dollars delivery fees all year round. Listen, shine bright during DoorDash's summer of Dash Pass and get 50% off your first order up to a $15 value. All you got to do is download the DoorDash app and use the promo code HEYBABE, H-E-Y-B-A-B-E, at checkout when you spend $12 or more. That's 50% off your first order up to $15 value. When you sign up for DoorDash during summer of Dash Pass, use promo code HEYBABE. Don't forget, that's code HEYBABE, 50% off your first order up to $15 value. Dash Pass benefits only on eligible... Dash Pass benefits only on eligible orders that meet the minimum subtotal terms apply. Uh, the white would like to chime in. <clears throat> yes. Rap gets carte blanche because people view it as like cosplaying. They view it as an escape. When they make this music, people think that they can escape into what's being said and everything, and it's this creative endeavor. It's not real, which is why with drill rap, it's getting to a point where it's like these are literal confessions to crimes. Like you can no longer separate the the lyric and the art from the, the perception of reality of whether or not these things happen. Comedy is different because people have a hard time suspending disbelief. Like rappers are characters to people. We are not characters. We are, you don't think comedians are characters to people? No, we I, are, but we don't get believed by society yes, that we are. Like, James, I, I James Gunn lost his job directing Guardians of the Galaxy because they found a tweet from him from 13 years ago that he made a joke with a like a, a child because joke because it's jokes and people go well there's 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 truth behind the joke but with rap also people are very afraid of looking racist wow. and I okay. also think that uh, dude I did I did I used to stand yeah, up no, on well, improv let me just cut you off. yes I do agree with 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 what you said about afraid of looking racist but. The argument I make is Eminem has crazy that same award show that Kevin Hart got thrown off of. Kevin Hart, um, Eminem performed on, right? And Eminem songs from that era were, you know, killing his wife and calling people homos and everything. Yeah. And he's white. Maybe it's because rap makes people fucking money. Yeah, and and that- yeah, but Beyonce singing "Spaz" in her song "Lizzo." How's that any different? I, because women are are subjugated more than men. Because men get away with shit. I don't know. I mean, like, it's easier to go. At, and also, Beyonce bowed down to this when she shouldn't have. You go after Snoop Dogg, he's not changing <laughs> shit. Right. No, he say, fuck you. He's going to do more Corona commercials. Yeah. And he's he's going to do Coronita commercials it just to get me cute. Off so much. He's on when, primetime family programming, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. yeah. Look at prime Ice Prime family programming. Look at Ice yeah. T. Look at Ice Cube. Yeah. Cop killer. Right. Fucking. The, the whole NWA thing. It makes like no a sense. beloved family character. It's crazy people can suspend their disbelief with that, but they take a fucking joke, we say, and they're like, where's this coming from? You're a bad person. People could get hurt because of this. More people have died because of rap than comedy ever, and it'll never get in trouble, and I don't think it should, and I don't think comedy should either. If people I'm are just playing a video game, dumb. I can... Literally at gunpoint, rob a car, mm-hmm. drive it into a family, get out, beat a prostitute yeah. to death, save my gameplay, and then go play with my daughter. Yeah, that Quinn, was- have your daughter play it with you <laughs> right. and watch it. Right, <laughs> but but someone's like you know you you didn't like spaz was a, was a word thirty years forty years ago that was like. In the in the lexicon. Yeah, and 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 the people are like you're gonna like you take that down or else. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's insane. It's a wild world, but it goes back it. to what the Russians probably did. Started in the eighties. That video. It's all dev- It's all this bullshit. It's all same thing. Like with China, how they're like, well, there's no reason to shoot a bullet at us. They yeah. bought fifty percent of the real estate. What was it? A, a, a hundred billion dollars in real estate Dude, assets. We- just last year, China. So it's like they, these countries are like, what? They'll kill each other, and we own their land. And 
They don't even care about their own citizens. They'll kill their yeah, own citizens. Yeah, they're fucking around. They're like, we're sanctioning Nancy Pelosi. That's yeah. who will sanction. And Fuck you. they know that that will get people talking and fighting with each other more. It's just a daily fucking drip of fighting. And the Russians knew they fucking lost the Cold War. So they're like, okay, weapons out, words in. They're you, pissed about that. They're pissed old... about Rocky, I believe, still. They are pissed about. I would be too. Yeah. Miracle. Miracle on ice. They're pissed about My that. My father, who's you know, 75 years old, has no social media, doesn't. Well, I think maybe we made a page now or something. Somebody made a page. Um, he he. When I was getting, uh, I got in trouble some some hot water for um, a bit I did, and I was like, kind of was like bumming me out. And my dad was like, "Do you know any of these people?" And I was like, "I have no idea what any of them are." He goes, "I. Why would you get upset?" It's not your friends. It's not your family mad at you. They don't care. What do you... These people are imaginary. Yeah. I was like, no, but they're really writing it and this can happen, that can happen. He goes, yeah, anything can happen. Mm. What? Do not let people you do not know affect your mood ever. And I was like, just... It, I was like, just live by that and you're free. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. actually free. Yeah. He goes, do not let anyone you don't know affect your mood ever. Well, that's the whole thing. Wait, that, what was you that joke Tony about? Talk. Like, huh? It's like a TED talk. You got a Tony talk. Yeah. Well, I got I got a fucking Tony talk. Wow, that's actually wow. what's going to save my Patreon and save my career. Tampa Tony talks coming to yes. patreoncom slash Christy Comedy, and it's just going to be my dad giving advice. Yeah. Oh amazing. my god, and yelling, amazing! This is fucking great, dude. Just put your dad on a, like a black stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with with a just says Tony with a headset. <laughs> Yo, do you remember that? What was that like old joke that was like cyberbullying? Just turn the computer off. It's like yeah, no, literally, just yeah, fucking yeah. walk right. away. Right. Right. No, if it you don't, if you, uh, you know, we, we have some friends, you know, uh, uh, getting canceled to the 10th degree, yeah. Ari, like, right, yeah, when yeah. got in trouble with all that stuff. I spoke to Ari about that. He goes, not one person from New York to Los Angeles. Now, when, you, you know, he made fun of the Kobe death and all that in Los Angeles, he would, they were like, you better never come over here. Right. He goes, not one person ever in, not one person ever physically said anything to me because it just existed online. Do you know what he also said? He created a fake comedy club email account and put on fake dates for these clubs on his website. And people were emailing the club that he made up going, I've been a longtime customer here. I come every weekend and I refuse to come here if Ari Shafir is playing your club. And it's just an example of like, People are fucking liars. Yeah. They're and lying. they're not even going to do anything. One of in my real friends, life. I didn't even know, like a friend of my, like an actual real friend of mine, his brother. So it's not my friend, but his. He's your friend once removed. Friend once removed. Friend once removed. We're doing it. We're doing it. He, he openly admitted to me that he's an internet troll. He listens to comedy and he's trolled some of our friends. Wait, you mean like. He's he, a troll. He identifies as it? He, like, he t spends his time doing it. He gets joy from it, and he does it. Sal? That's insane. You would never in a million I thought a years troll believe this man is a troll. He's got a wife, beautiful kids, beautiful wife, beautiful family. He literally was like, I, we were it, out it, to dinner. He's feeding something. No, no, he told me. He was like, I'm out to dinner. We were out to dinner, and I was like, you know, talking about, uh, I mean, I won't name him. I was like, oh, this guy gets trolled all the time. It's like, it, it hurts him. He goes, I, I do that. He goes, I'm not afraid to admit it. I do that. And I was like... Why do you do that? And he was like, he said to me, he was like, because in my life, in my regular life, he goes, I feel like shit all the time. My, my wife makes more money than me. My kids don't respect me. He goes, so the way I get it out, anonymously, he goes, I have a fake account. He with, told you this? I swear to God, this with no followers. He goes, I like to shit on comics and athletes. And hopefully, he said this, I swear to God, they write back to me and then I can block them and I win. And I feel like I winced. So it's like this twisted wow, thing where I'm is, like, that he's messed up in the head. And and this is the first, I, I have like you think proof he's the of the only source. one. No, yeah. no, no, he told me the comedians that he shits on, he pays to see them regularly when they come to New York City. Wow. And watches them and goes. That's even that's why. So I never met a person who was who was because yeah. we always suspected that, but to actually get a concrete yeah. physical flesh human, they'd be like, "This is why I do it," and then I pay to see them, Bro. and I, and it's crazy like i you know no what if you block but don't respond but just block because no, sometimes I, sometimes i don't even i never answer but sometimes i'm like i don't want to block because i know they want the block yeah mm. so they, they it's like a badge of honor mm. to get the block i like to so mute. sometimes i just don't even block but then sometimes i'm like fuck it 
Yeah. Block yeah. you and all your accounts. Like I don't care. Just stay out. Like I if if I get like hate or so and and, and I gotta say, knock on wood, I'm really grateful I, I, I don't. I, I my a lot of people that like me and stuff are very like kind, which I really appreciate it. But there's some real fucking dickheads sometimes and they say some slick out of pocket shit. And I'll literally go, Hey, I, I'm a I'm a person. Like I, yeah. I know you may like me, but you don't respect me, and that's a really hurtful thing to say. And I have feelings and I don't respect it. And that's not okay. And, and they send you back the Ken Jeong gif. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> they photoshop my head blowing another guy. I'm like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but no, most of the time they'll be like, I'm a fan. I was trying to roast you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I really, I'm they don't. Do it. I went through the same thing as you. And it's like, these people have such a disconnect yeah. from like reality. Yeah. Like some people just don't know. Yeah. No, the, I never, ever, ever respect respond to anyone on the comments but somebody if they dms once in a while i'm like uh, somebody dm me the other day they were like oh that bit that you're trying to say is new which i wasn't they're like that bit you're trying to say is new i heard it last year These so they're a fan people. of yours and yeah. they're trying to call yeah, yeah. you yeah. i just wrote back if you knew anything about me you asshole you wouldn't if you i said if you knew anything about the bit you asshole you would know that it's from a year ago and i posted this from a year ago and then the last time i put thank you for the support venetia what? I respond when I respond negatively on DMs. I say it's Venetia. I say it's Venetia no, on my Instagram. No, I do it all the time. No, no. <laughs> and then people write back, "Fuck you, bitch!" <laughs> like she's posting on your behalf. Yeah. I, well, I say on the Chrissy Chaos podcast that Venetia runs my Instagram, but it's not true. <laughs> people will DM me, be like, "Hey, Venetia, love you. What's going up?" I'm like, "What up, sir?" I, I, Venetia has been up, on five sir? days. I got left. <laughs> she's ghosting people ghosting all over the city. Ghosting people left and right. There's a Venetia. She's the most hated woman on the internet. <laughs> Note to self, DM Chris. Okay, here we go. A track meet turned NSFW, which is not safe for work. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real, Real quick, quick, when Italian decathlete Alberto Nonino, Alberto Nonino's cock popped out in the middle of a race. How it's, big does your dick have to be? Oh, my. Let's see how big this guy's fucking... Beef it's going to be blurred. No, it better not be. <laughs> he's oh, is he it, pulling he's it out? He's holding it while he's running. <laughs> and he's catching up. Well, you use it as leverage. Is that him? He's what in if the he blue. uses he's it? Dead center. Dead center. He's what holding if he, it. What if he, as a joke, he watch, used watch. that as the baton? <laughs> <laughs> what if he gets erect just to cross the finish line first? <laughs> right now, he's like pulling it. <laughs> it's going to be a photo finish. He's just like, oh. Well, hey, he's Italian. His nose would probably cross first. <laughs> Look, he his is dick is still popping out. Just let it go, bro. Just let it go and win the race, bro. Bro. He just has to give up now because his dick. Look, bro. he's giving up. He's going to come in last. Just because of your cock. Everyone has it. That poor fella. He comes in last. He comes in last. But what place is but his dick come in third? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the guy falling. He tripped over his dick. <laughs> what do you think he says in the post game interview? He's like, well, I uh, tried to run a good array, but my penis. It's uh, like, keep a pop out. I couldn't have fit my dick in the shorts. <laughs> yeah. My penis, how you call it? Flop it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got uh, too big a meatball. Yes, it, I have to get the better pants. <laughs> Next time I get to run in Caprice. I Look didn't at, see the dick wow. pop out. Look at that dog. I want to see the video. I from, trained there for four years. I wake up every day at the 5 a.m. And then, then my dick is popping out. <laughs> you never think about your dick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the only thing. I did not even get the bronze. Yes, but I have an OnlyFans now. <laughs> <laughs> Couple arrested for giving vodka shot to baby. Oh my god! In sick look at that! No, look at that picture on the right. Hold on! Hold on! Hold look on! Look at that picture on the right, dude. It's okay. The baby's so I understand red. that this is looks bad, but I have two questions. One: Are they teething? Two: Are they Russian? <laughs> <laughs> also, why would you film this yeah, and put it online? No, shots people for just, tots. Dude, no, do you not realize how stupid people are? We're gonna watch this video. Do you realize how dumb fucking people are? There's a cops, um, uh, or EMT workers that are going to get fired from their job, rightfully so. They had someone tied to a um, to a, a, a stretcher, 
and I guess he was drunk or whatever, and they were ra- they were having him say funny things into the radio over the dispatch and filming it, and one of them posted on their TikTok. It's like, are you a stupid fucking wow. asshole? Like, people don't get- You can't breach that you trust, too. You know how many too, times when EMTs. I was a physical therapist, and this was back in the day before social media was even big, people would post, like, people I worked with would post videos of the children that we work with on their Facebook. I'd no. be like, look at what so-and-so did. And it's like, that kid had special needs. You right. Know? And I'm not like a rat to go that people but don't I get did it. One time because they were like dancing around this girl that had Down syndrome. Like uh-huh. it was and I was like, stop what? doing Wait, this. why were they dancing they around? Were, were sorry, they, they trying were making, to undance her? No, they were making like an them. ancient rain dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were they were trying to make this girl with Down syndrome who we worked with, like not trying to make the, she was dancing, like she mm-hmm. was like Oh, and they were having fun with her. Yeah, yeah, but it was going like it was like too crazy. Like they were videoing her, like shaking her ass. I'm like, this oh, girl's no, like and no. then laughing, she's also eleven. I yeah. was like, what what are we doing here? Uh, so I said, you guys gotta stop this. Like good, this is fucking good on like you. making me this is like weird. Yeah. And then, you know, I you know, they were like, oh, like kind of like looking at me like I was some kind of fucking rat. I was like, I'm sorry I don't want to see an eleven year old girl with Down syndrome shaking her ass yeah. and then you're putting it on Facebook. I was like, I'm in the Caroline's comedy competition. I don't want to get disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> I really need I can't fucking work here anymore. It's fucking <laughs> Um, this is disturbing. Okay, though. so this is a this is a rap music plays in background. They play Snoop Dogg in the back. Yeah, look how red the baby. Oh my! Oh my fucking god! Wasted. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that is so wrong, dude. But is it water? Or could is you it imagine probably, that baby system vodka, trying though. to process that? It's probably not vodka, though. Is this a second shot? Or like they, get, it's the same thing repeated. I mean, dude, people in oh my programs God. of recovery talk about how this no, they started arrested. them into a life of alcoholism Wait, and degeneracy. Is it? But what is this scumbag. is this real, Chris, or is it uh, Russian? Did it happen for real? They're saying a uh, woman believed to be can we see porn. She then shockingly gives it to the baby and tilts the tyke's head back so it goes down. A la cough syrup. <laughs> a shirtless man thought to be the boy's father can be seen standing nearby. Uh, oblivious to the baby's boozing session, go down. I guarantee you, though, that it, it says it appeared. Vodka. It says it appeared that way. So it's allegedly. Let's do do one with us. Come it's on, allegedly. allegedly. Uh, <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. You put English on it. Uh-huh. Have been let. Out. Unfortunately, the bozos. They should have called in the, the child is back the in the possession. The bozos <laughs> would have been good. What the? How could how could they get that child back? That's like how could I, they get that child back? De Blasio. Yeah. This is in. They live in, yeah, I know this. UK don't give a fuck. Child services has been alerted to the situation. They've taken appropriate action. What? Oh, my God. That is the, that is infuriating to me. What? Oh Wait. Indonesian, Indonesian infant lit up the internet after a video emerged of him indulging in his 40 cigarette per day habit. Oh, my How God. How did they get that video of me as a kid? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let's. This oh, I've, seen I've seen this. I've seen it's, this. It's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's disturbing. It's, it's, no, it's It cute. is disturbing, It's disturbing. Dude. Oh, I have the same physique it. as this kid. But, he, but <laughs> well, I would say. I go up. I said, it's disturbing. I have the same physique. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's great. That's great. Oh, my God. Look at him. I mean, they also put him in a leather jacket. Uh, I mean, yeah. the kid He's in a leather bomber jacket. jacket. Yeah, he looks like an airplane pilot from the yeah. 50s. Yeah. Is that the Rocketeer? <laughs> Are they what all- a good movie. Holy oh, yeah. shit, The Great Rocketeer. Movie, he's, movie look, night. He's, he's doing cigarettes. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, he is holding court, the ripping we- cigs, <laughs> dude. Look the, at him. The weird thing is, is he holds it like an adult, uh-huh. so it's like... Oh, dude. Oh, no, yes. he's not. He's, he's, <laughs> oh, he's dude. smoking, too. He's monkey butting it. That's what you oh got to do, God. dog. That's the way. Oh, my God. Look at his little God. girlfriend right there. Like, That's he a crazy. boy, I think. Oh my God! I mean that. Get that milk, son. Oh, that then is they an give adult. Him, then they give him literal bottle of formula. Oh my God! Lays down, chills. Oh God! Uh-huh. Arrest those people, man. Arrest them. Arrest them. What? They're fucking national heroes. Yeah, that kid's cool as hell. Oh, actress. Oh, Anne Hayes. <gasps> Anne oh, Hayes no. is Miss Ellen's wife. What it happened? It was, or it is. No, it was yeah, intubated fun. after what happened. No, severely burned and fiery. Oh, and is hey, this, wait, what's that, red, what's that red circle on the in the left picture? Just what? right now, this happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so what's sad. What's the red circle? Um, let's see. Come on, I love Anne Hesh. Who doesn't? You're a piece of shit if you don't love Anne Hesh. I just Fuck made an you. Anne Hesh reference on the Shark Week special this week. Really? Yeah. You think you have anything to do with this? <laughs> no. 
If but you don't like Anne, that's Hache, why she was mad. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mentioned me on Shark yeah. Tank. Oh my god! So what happened? The car accident. Jesus uh-huh. Christ! I hope. But, so. I but, hope but she what was the significance it. of that thing in her car? Was it one of those things that you blow like alcohol into or something? That's what I thought they were getting at. Oh yeah, well, but it could be uh, it could, a bottle was seen. In Hayes' cup holder. Okay, oh, but it poor, could be a bottle yeah, of anything. What does man? that mean? Yeah, it could have been that smoking baby's formula. Zumaru. Yeah. Enhance. Enhance. Let's see what it is. Oh, it looks like Smirnoff. No. Oh, okay. Yakov? What did you say? They think it was alcohol? They think it's Yakov. <laughs> they think it's Yakov Smirnoff. <laughs> In the bottle. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what I don't, I don't, I don't make, I can't make that out in any way, shape, or form. I don't get it. I don't it see. It looks like a pint of liquor. Oh, it's a. I can't see it. I don't, yeah, I don't see that. But that's why you got to keep so it. Someone took a photo of her moments before she crashed. That's why you got to keep it in a glove box. That's the way to go. True out. Pimp and Pimp and Ian just point at each other uh-huh. with the glove box reference. They yeah. know where to keep their alcohol. That's Real right. trash. Yeah, you Real keep trash. the pine in the glove box. Oh, I love it. And then you leave the sunroof open so you can tilt it all the way back. <laughs> uh-huh. You're an addict. Really? Yeah. Okay. There uh-huh. you go. Yeah. Nice, dude. Mm-hmm. I love that we've seen both your baby videos, the cigarette one and the vodka shots. Yeah. What do you, and, oh, nice. And you know what? We're having a movie night. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. wow. Is that a nail file or a knife? It's a letter opener. Oh, wow. You ever pulled that out on somebody? No, but I wish a motherfucker would. Wow. <laughs> Got it in Ohio. Didn't bring it on the flight. Had a guy drive it back to New York. Wow. And I also got two tasers, brass knuckles, which is a belt buckle. A friend of mine got assaulted in Tribeca midday, so I got her a taser. And going home late at night, it's crazy. It was my 12-year-old stepson's birthday. My 12-year-old stepson's birthday last week. One of his uncles bought him a a full, real, state-of-the-art, full machete. What? He has a machete as real as can be. Upstairs with my seven-year-old daughter <laughs> oh my and one-year-old God. daughter running around. He fully came home from his dad's house. And was like, "Look at my dad! Look what I got!" And I was like, "What is it, buddy?" And then he pulled out a for real machete, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Holy shit!" And his mom is furious. Oh, I bet. So why would he do you, that? You, you put it like above the fridge or something, right? You, yeah, yeah, I mean, but <laughs> well, above the fridge. <laughs> yeah. It's ironclad. He can't get to it above the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well, the, the rule is now he has it, but it's at his pop's house now. He's like, she's like, uh, you cannot on have his this in the house. fridge. It's in his father's fridge. Yeah. yeah. But he had a full machine. And he came home, and I got to be honest with you, even though like I was, you know, trying to be a dad to protect my kids, I was like. Can I hold it? Yeah. I was like, I want, I want to take it. I was like, Delilah, back up. And I fucking ripped it out. Dude, I have a machete Time upstairs. Bespokepost.com. Yeah. I got it from Bespoke Post. Oh, shout out Bespoke Post. Shout out Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post. Yeah. You're going to get Bespoke Post to sponsor your pod. I'll do it. Be an Ian pod. Patreon.com slash be an Ian pod. Bespoke Post. A be an Ian. So what's your strategy with that? What the fuck are you going to do with that thing? What? This no, I like world. it. It just gives you a little sense of security. You yeah. hit somebody in the neck with that? that they're done. Dude, they're done. Hey, hey, I, I'm I catch not, you. You're done. If some guy comes up on me, oh, no, my last thing I'd like to do, I got to go. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please, yeah. Please, sir, before I, yeah. can I just comb my please, stash? Can I just comb? Can I just hygiene myself, please? I, I, they don't even let you have pepper hygiene. spray. Hygiene. Imagine you tried to bring that into Russia. What do you think would happen? Oh, they wouldn't find it. It'd be up my ass. You have go. a way of delivering things. Oh, I, I love, love it, man. You. It's just been Hey Babe. Whee! Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away.